guys, today I'm making a video that I never wanted to make, I never anticipated making, and honestly, I'm really devastated. Yesterday, my world was torn apart. Yesterday morning, I woke up, and as always, I checked IG, and the first thing I saw was this message which is from my favorite band, saying, Well, it's been a hell of a journey. Grow up, growing up in Vegas, I could have never imagined where this life would take me. So many places all over the world, and all of the friends we've made along the way. But sometimes a journey must end for a new one to begin. We've been trying to keep it to ourselves, though some of you may have heard. Sarah and I are expecting a baby very soon. The prospect of being a father and getting to watch my wife become a mother is both humbling and exciting. I look forward to this next adventure. That said, I am going to be bringing this chapter of my life to an end and put my focus and energy on my family. And with that, panic at the disco will be no more. Thank you all for your immense support over the years. I've sat here trying to come up with the perfect way to say this, and I truly can't put into words how much it has meant to us. Whether you've been here since the beginning or are just finding us, it has been a pleasure to not only share the stage with so many talented people, but also share our time with you. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone in Europe and UK, in the UK, for one last run together. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for existing. Brendan. Guys, after I read that post, I felt like this. I felt like reading your on fire. I was so distraught. I was so in like such a disbelief of what I had just read. I was like incredibly happy for Brendan and Sarah. I'm so glad that they're expecting a baby and they're going to be parents. That is so fun. That's so exciting. But you don't have to stop making music to do it. I'm so freaking sad. And... Panic just released Viva Lost Vengeance. Brendan kind of gave us one more tour cycle. <sighs> but I really want to talk about what Panic at the Disco means to me. As a long-term fan. I remember the first time I listened to I Write Since Not Tragedies. And um, my true love for Panic didn't really solidify until Vices and Virtues came out. That's when I was really in the height of my teenage years. The people I wanted to be like were all listening to Panic at the Disco. And it was already something I loved. And I finally felt like I fit in somewhere. I was like, wow, these are my people. And Vices and Virtues came out as such a kind of pivotal time in my life. I was really sick at the time. I was having a lot of issues. I was in and out of the hospital. It was, uh, it was a lot. I'm not going to go into that. Maybe in a different video. But um, I got to meet Panic at the Disco on that tour cycle, and that just meant the world to me. I actually posted a picture of it um, on Instagram yesterday, which would have been two days ago when you guys will see this. But that was, like, the best thing to ever happen, and I've loved every single album. There's not been one album that I dislike, even with Vices and Virtues, or not Vices and Virtues, but Viva Los Vengeance, which Brennan got so much hate on. But it's such a genuinely good album. <sighs> and I thought I got to see them on their last U.S. tour, for Viva Los Vengeance, and I didn't realize that was the last time I would be seeing Panic at the Disco, and I would just like to say I am just so truly devastated. This band has been with me through my whole life, almost. Like, I started listening to them when I was like eight or nine, and I'm almost 28 now, and I have just, they've been here with me the whole time. We're in, like, Brendan Urie has held my hand through my whole life with his music, and it just means so much to me. And even at the concert, I felt like a teenager again. I felt like I was going to hang out with an old friend, and um, it just meant so much to me. 
And now to see that panic is no more, it just really breaks a deep part of me. It just like opens a sinkhole in my chest a little bit because I was looking forward to seeing Panic at least one more time. I thought they might do a co-headlining tour with Fallout Boy since Fallout Boy's back. But man, this band just means so much to me. They've been with me through the most pivotal points in my life. Uh, the hardest times of my life, the most important parts of my life. And um, I just, I owe so much to this band. And I know Brandon's getting a lot of hate about a lot of things right now, and I'll address that in a different segment of this video, I'm sure. But <sighs> I just wanted to talk about how much panic at the disco means to me. But next I do want to talk about how sudden this message about the breakup came. It's not even really a breakup. It's just Brennan not putting out any more music under the name Panic at the Disco. Anyway, so we need to talk about how sudden this announcement was. And I think a lot of it has to do, you know, I think... Sarah found out that she was expecting, Sarah is uh, Brendan's wife, I feel like they found out they were expecting sometime right before the album came out or right after the album came out. That's what really makes sense in this scenario. But Brendan has also been getting a ton of hate. I really don't want to get into it on this video because this video will be 400 hours long. But Brendan Mary is the most genuinely sweet person I have ever met in my whole life. He's so humble. He's so kind. Sure, he's made mistakes in his life and said some things he shouldn't have said. Who the hell hasn't? I mean, come on. Give him a break. And all the comments on uh, the post panic made yesterday and all of them celebrating and being very, very negative towards Brendan. Like, grow the up. I'm trying not to cuss in this video. Oh my god, is it hard. But grow the up. They're, stop acting so immature and just so disgusting. Like, I hate that this is what the human race has come to. But anyway, I think Brennan is taking a step back because of all of the hate he has been receiving. He was canceled, you know, in, uh, I think it was... 2021, the f this stupid ass cancel culture is so toxic, it's so stupid, it doesn't make any sense, it doesn't mean anything, people make mistakes, they grow and they learn from their mistakes. I have very harsh feelings about cancel culture and how people act on the internet, like, Anyway, I think that has a lot to do with why Brandon's stepping back. And I just, I hate it for him because he's such a genuine human being. And not only is he so kind and humble, he is also just so freaking talented. And I feel like if he doesn't return to music sometime in the future, we've lost an incredible talent. Just um, unreal. But let's talk about something lighter. I feel like Panic's departure was timed. I think it was timed with Fall Out Boy's return. Like, I don't think it's any other way because we all know that Pete Wentz, uh, the Bassett for uh, Fall Out Boy, is very, very, very good friends with the Panic at the Disco, i.e. Uh, Brittany Murray. And I think him and Pete worked this out in a way where Fall Boy's about to release a new album. They released a new single today on Wednesday. It's so good. I'm so excited about it. But I think Panic's announcement on Tuesday was kind of cushioned by Fall Out Boy's return. And I think that's really cool. I think that's really sweet. But I'm really, really really sad. Like, who knew the panic show I went to back in October would be my very last panic show? Who knew that this would be the last panic tour merch I would ever get? 
I'm just so devastated. I'm so sad. And I really needed to make a video about it. And, um, anyway, I feel like I'm going to be talking about panic for a really long time. I have a few other video ideas I want to do because panic has been such an important part of my life. And now that panic is no more, I'm just like, I know I will have all the memories and all the songs and whatnot, but I feel like a part of my childhood has died, a part of my adulthood has died, a part of myself has died, and um, I'm just really, really sad, and I just wanted to make a video about it, so thank you for listening if you've watched this, and um, I'm going to leave a little homage at the end of this video to Panic at the Disco, just um, probably tour pics that I've taken in the past, and um pictures of me wearing Panic merch and at the Panic show I went to in October. Anyway, um, if any Panic fans are watching this, I feel you. Um, I'm devastated too. Um, but I love Panic forever. Forever my favorite band. <sighs> this is a tough one, guys. This is a tough one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're sad about Panic at the Disco and or just love me. Thank you.